Hi, I'm Tom. I'm with CellPhoneTrek.com, and today I have the Samsung Flight 2 for the AT&T market. The Samsung Flight 2 is a predecessor to the original Flight. You can tell by the two. Um, basically, this is going to be a review, show you some of the features that we like, how to operate the phone, and some of the pre-downloaded content, etc. You can only purchase this phone currently at Radio Shacks and RadioShack.com. It is not available via the AT&T website or uh, retail stores. Why they did this, they're not telling us why. So, um, to guess, just to get an idea, I mean, the Samsung Flight was one of their most popular uh, full featured phones, so why not have the predecessor available right away? Maybe just to test it out, see how it is. Maybe availability isn't what they want it to be, you know, they don't have enough on hand, and so they just give them to the third party marketers you know, right off the bat. So that's just conjecture, but let's get into the full review. The AT&T Samsung Flight 2, uh, very curvy phone, has a three inch capacitive touchscreen. Uh, you have some hardware keys here and call, which is also the power button, also functions as an unlock screen, or you can touch this here, hold it down, it'll unlock or there's a lock screen on the side and you can dim it or you can hit it and hit it again just like so this is not working you hold it down and it unlocks there we go um, you can see we're running TouchWiz 3.0 right here I have a couple of widgets uh, Samsung widgets running uh, you can tell it's 3.0 by the fact that you're going to go ahead and have uh, three scrollable bars, which once you reach the end of one, it's quite easy to just continue through. Uh, one thing I have noticed is these widgets right here do like to be moved around a lot, so you have to be real quick when you're switching between screens. Uh, Phone doesn't have a very fast processor, so it can lag at some times if you're trying to do too many things. Uh, it does run on AT&T's 3G network. It is also a quad band phone, so it will work in over 220 countries throughout the world. Uh, this is the Facebook app. Uh, pretty easy to set up. Uh, it gives you little notifications of messages, friend requests, um, settings in here. If you tap on this, it will load Facebook up right away. However, depending on 3G speeds of where you're at, it can take a couple of seconds here. But as, as you can tell, you have profiles, friends, etc. Um, does have a full HTML browser, not, but this is the actual Facebook widget, so it's a little different. But you can still get the idea. You can still see um, what people are doing. What you know, you can still read, you can still get pictures, videos, etc. Sometimes you just have to wait for them. You can add photos, you can refresh, check your messages, you can search for friends, check out your own profile, etc. On the left hand side of the phone, you're gonna have volume rocker bar and this key right here, which brings up call, messaging, mobile web, your music, ah, your music player, games, or end all applications. Which basically means take every widget that's running and throws it back into the task, uh, your widget bar here on the left. Right hand side, your micro USB charging port with the cover here, your lock screen button again, push it down to lock it, hold it down to unlock and your dedicated camera key. Your camera is a two megapixel auto, uh, non-autofocus camera. I apologize, two megapixels and it's not an autofocus. And here's your speaker. Uh, the Flight 2 did get an improvement and it does have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So definitely have to love that. Uh, let's see, uh, here's your main menu with all your different um, applications and accessories and whatnot. You do have an IM client. Here's your mobile web browser, your AT&T Music. Let's set this down. Um, 
your YT Mobile, you have some games, let's check out games, let's see what's going on here. Uh, you got Fun Screens, Monopoly, which is a demo, Pac-Man, which is a demo, Tetris, which is a demo. The Oregon Trail, now that is a classic game. If you do not know what the Oregon Trail is, please do a Google search, find this. If you're gonna get one game on this phone, you need to get the Oregon Trail. It's straight like 1989 and is the coolest game of all time. I'm calling it now. Um, sorry I nerded out on you, but anyone who knows what Oregon Trail is is definitely going to agree with me in a World Series of Poker uh, demo as well. And you can also shop for games, and everyone knows how to shop for games. Um, you do have Moby TV. It does have... Uh, which is an additional fee of 10 bucks a month, but it's sometimes worth it if you find yourself with a lot of dead time and you enjoy catching up on the latest uh, shows available. Most of the time it picks um, four or five popular shows per channel like ABC, NBC, and just continuously um, plays the new episode of that week over and over again. So in the summer you're gonna have a lot of dead time. Uh, but you can get stuff like um, ESPN and stuff like that. Uh, you do, you can take uh, pictures and video with your 2 megapixel camera um, and there is video share available as well. Let's get into the camera and it gets you an idea of what it looks like here. It goes directly into uh, landscape. You just click this button here at the top and it will just take a photo and we'll delete this. Do you have a lot of nice features on here? Oh, my feet. Um, do have a lot of options on here. You can change your resolution, change between camera, camcorder, video share, brightness, timers. Come on. Well, these go into your old pictures here. Uh, your settings, for your Exposure meter, is it nighttime, effects, guidelines, other th just general settings. Storage, do you want to go to the phone or the micro SD card? There's no micro SD card. There is a micro SD card slot available on this phone and it will hold up to a 16 gigabyte micro SD card except it does not come preloaded with one. Uh, price of this phone is $49.99 through Radio Shack. So look, I made the grid lines come up. Um, definitely gonna wanna, before you click the button when you're taking a picture with the camera, you definitely gonna wanna make sure. Uh, the phone is a slider. I should have mentioned that earlier. The phone is a slider. You can, uh, it's a four line, spacebar independent, bunch of feature keys. Uh, your number keys are in here in the function. Uh, let's show you what the dialer looks like. Uh, I can dial right here, 407-555-5555, and you can send message or you can save fairly easily, or if you close the slider, your number pad comes up in here, you have a delete button in the right hand side, you know, 407-555-885665, whatever, and you can save, call, delete, etc. Um, nice and big, enjoy it. And here's your web browser. Let me bring this up here real quick. It's connecting. Should be going to ATT.net. But let us see what it is doing. Does take a while. I mean, it's still still taking some time here. We'll try to edit this up and shorten it down for you or something. There we go. Uh, standard www dot. We'll go to cell phone. Track. I did enjoy the physical keypad. It worked quite well. You have a dedicated .com key down here on the bottom. 
Uh, okay, you also have an okay here in the center. I'll hit okay. And again, it's gonna be loading up. Uh, well, before we started this, I reset the phone. So it is pretty, this is the initial looking for the website. I'm sure if you get a couple of favorites in here, if you have ESPN.com or if you go ahead and take other things, other websites, um, the Etchy and Bronco shows, .com is one of my favorite um, sites that I like to go to. Um, pretty funny podcasts. They, um, you know, once you get in here, it gets a little quicker. Resolution's a bit off. Uh, this is definitely a mobile view here, but it does have the capability for full HTML browsing. Uh, just have to go into your settings and find something that fits you better. Yeah, image quality. You can change everything from medium, low, just makes everything go faster. Font size, large, medium. Uh, here you go, mobile view. Turn mobile view off. Save. That will go back, it will reload, set website. While we're doing this, uh, another good thing to do is go to cellphonetrack.com every day for all your latest cell phone news and review. Also go to Facebook and Twitter, find Cell Phone Trek, Cell Phone Trek, T-R-E-K, in the search and follow us. You can friend us, like us, follow us, and we will answer any questions you have on there or on the bottoms of this actual video as well. So this is now the, more the full HTML version. I'm trying to see if it's a double tap, zoom in, zoom out, none of that. But you can just run around here. Um, image clarity of the screen is quite nice. Uh, images are brisk, I guess a little clear. I mean, it's no super AMOLED screen, but there you go. Here's your full HTML version right here. And you have a double tap, zoom in, but you have to hit this back button to come out. I was using a different browser than the one provided by the phone, so. It's not bad, you can hit zoom in, back. I mean, for a $50 phone, it's a really decent browser to have on here, I have to admit. Do you want to exit? Yes, I want to exit, I don't want to suspend. Um, overall, that's the Samsung Flight 2 for the AT&T market. Again, three inch capacitive touchscreen, slider phone, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, uh, full HTML browser, social uh, networking available. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, all on there. Also, uh, cheap, $50 phone, uh, only through Radio Shack currently, but I'm sure it's going to T-Mobile before Christmas, like we said. Go to cellphonetrek.com daily for all your latest cell phone news and reviews. Also, go to Facebook and Twitter, find Cell Phone Trek. Friend us, like us, leave us comments. We'd love to talk to you. My name is Tom, I'm with Cell Phone Trek, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you have yourself a great day.